So guys, how you guys doing? Um, first, we're gonna get started with the shave. Any slick stick. Let's apply that. I haven't used this stuff in a while. So I thought I'd give it another go. We're working on like 24 hours of growth. Yeah, something like that. All right, that should be enough. It's actually more than enough. But today, I'm using a new brush, if you've read the title, and a little extra lathering ain't too bad. <laughs> ain't too bad of an idea when you're uh, trying out a new brush. For the scent, we're going to be continuing along, um, 80, uh, we're, sorry, we're going to be continuing along uh, Shatia and Lux week. I felt like maybe doing a whole week of Shatia and Lux, maybe more, who knows? Let's see how it goes. Uh, but today we're going to be using 88 Chestnut Street. Um, this is very popular in the community. Um, fantastic scent. Um, this actually was my favorite scent for like a good two months. Um, but yeah, more on the scent in a bit. The star of the show is Declaration of Grooming B3. This is a 24 millimeter in a Washington... <clears throat> uh, Handle turned by Scott uh, Stewart, and this is in the Nebula color, Nebula resin, and it looks absolutely incredible. Um, typically, all my uh, decoration brushes have been uh, Jefferson's, so it's kind of welcome. I'm very happy about acquiring this. Uh, feels very natural in the hand. I like it. Um, for reference, here is my uh, decoration B5. Um, this is a 24, this is a 26. When this is not wet, it's actually almost very similar in size to the, the B5. So kind of give you guys an idea of the size. It is very dense. So as you notice too, the tips are very white and this is like very tan colored. So the treated, the knots that are, the tips that are very heavily treated, they're the ones that are jelly, you'll see that they uh, turn this color uh, sometimes and uh, that's like a good sign so sometimes when you're looking at the knot you can kind of tell uh, how it's going to be um, I don't know if that's always the case but maybe uh, so we're going to start loading Get the knot shake out the water here we go <laughs> here we go um, so we'll go up to we're at 45 we'll go up to uh, 315 a good 30 seconds of milk steak will do you good um, and since this is not very jelly, it does pick up soap very well. Um, but yeah. <sighs> Great scent. This is a very bright scent. Um, interesting, uh, I guess, to use this time of the year in the fall. But I feel like, I don't know, I could use this anytime. I, feel, I could use any scent anytime, right? No one's forcing me. All right, we're past 30 seconds for sure. All right, we're gonna wet the face and get into the lather. So uh, this knot, B3, very notorious for being the scritchiest knot of all the declarations that have come out this far. And that is very true. Uh, but I would have gotten this knot sooner if so many people haven't scared me away from it. <laughs> people literally scared me. They were just like, nah, man, it's crazy, scritchy, uh, don't get it. But, you know, I saw this handle. My good buddy Kai was selling his brushes, his brush collection off. He's going all in on the, the Milton Elm ones from Turn and Shave. And uh, I haven't tried that knot. Anyways, the that's not what we're talking about today. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I haven't tried that knot. Um, it's pretty pricey. Um, it is someone. It is a knot that's from someone who's never really tied knots before publicly. So I was kind of reserved on it. But he has very. He says very high things about it. So. Can't say much more because I haven't tried it. Anyways, about the B3. 
Uh, it's been around for a while. You can actually still acquire it now if you want it. But uh, yeah, a lot of people steer clear. He doesn't have a he doesn't have a lot of them left. A lot of hairs left. So we could get a nodding service for them right now. But uh, anyways, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'd be lying to you if I said it wasn't scrubby. But people were making it out to be like crazy scratchy, hurts your face. Um, yeah, so you definitely get the scrub. This is, I mean, if you're someone who shaves every day, I probably wouldn't recommend this brush to you. But if you shave like every other day, this might be a great brush option, you know? I would say so. Yeah, but what I'm basically trying to say is, y'all are soft, man. Because <laughs> um, I've, I've tried both jelly knots and I've tried scrubby knots like you see here and I could appreciate them both I'd say um my preference is literally in between I like a balance that's why the b7 is probably still my favorite knot uh but anyways yeah it's not that bad you know and if you if you don't push down as hard you don't feel as much scrub if you push down more you get more scrub you kind of adjust the scrubbiness almost on this knot but I'm really enjoying it it feels like you're exfoliating and massaging your face. Um, if you have really sensitive skin and uh, like, I don't know, it's it's not it's not like a bore. Like a bore to me is scritchy. An unbroken in bore, way worse than this. But at the same time, you do definitely feel the scrub. If you don't like scrubs, scrubby knots, maybe you're clear, but I guess I can understand why everyone's searching after that luxury feeling luxury vibe but anyways yeah that's my initial thoughts on the v3 this is like my second time lathering it i did do a test lather earlier off camera so i wanted to get an idea going into the shave of what it performed like just get my towel all right cool for the razor what razor am i using today oh i forgot let me pull out something <laughs> um today we're gonna go with yeah why not use this Wolfman WR2. This is quickly becoming my GOAT. Uh, this and the SCE paradigm are pretty much tied. This is my GOAT DE right now. And might as well find out what blades in here. Uh, oh, we got an Astra. It's probably second use. All right, let's get to it. Oh yeah, we're trying holding the razor with two fingers. I'm gonna try that method. This is the 1.05 gap in the stainless steel model. It does also exist in aluminum and titanium, which are very hard to get. But I don't mind the stainless steel. So far so good. Regarding the scent, um, I really do enjoy the scent. Like I said, it was one of my, it was probably my favorite for like at least two months. So this is actually, there's actually two versions of this or maybe three even if you consider the Fourth and Pine series or old name moniker. I don't know if uh, any scent notes changed. I don't think so. Anyways, the old version of the soap was called Fourth and Pine. I guess this may, name is more appropriate. I forgot what it was inspired by, but it is a, obviously a name of a street. But uh, when I smell this soap or fragrance, I get an explosion of citrus and quickly I'm followed by the Neroli um, and the reason why I get an explosion of citrus, I think there's like four or five citruses in it. So it has something to do with it. That's what makes it so bright. Um, yeah, so if you like citrus, this is the scent for you. All right, hold on, let me finish the first pass. 
and we'll get it more into the center notes. All right, cool. So far, so good. Yeah, but uh, so far, I'm liking this brush, man. I thought I was gonna have to move it off or something. I don't know, I like it. Yeah, so the Neroli to me is like just as strong as all the other citruses combined. Um, maybe just a little bit less. It depends actually. I find on the Eau de Cologne, the Neroli is a lot more forward. Whereas the soap and the aftershave, it's more citrus forward. Yeah, this brush actually feels great once you build a lather with it. It's interesting. The B7 is like a midpoint between this and like a B9. It's cool to have different brushes on the opposite sides of the spectrum. But yeah, anyways, um, the soap I have right now in aftershave is from the batch, from the March release batch of 2020, because I believe about a month or two ago, um, due to uh, lack of materials, due to the pandemic, I think they changed the Neroli. It's either more Neroli forward or this is a different kind, I forgot. So don't quote me on that, but um, it is slightly different. I haven't smelled that version, so. If you have bought, if you buy the current version, it might smell different or very, or it might smell similar, I don't know. It is the same scent notes, so. Oh, I forgot to do the two fingers, whatever. Uh. Threes are so efficient and smooth at the same time. I would say it's a little bit more efficient and a little less blade fuel than the Sagus, but you do get blade fuel. Anyways. Scent notes. You get, uh, what do you get? You get lemon, you get bergamot, you get neroli. Hold on. Uh, what else do you get? You get lavender. I definitely pick up the lavender. Orange, I pick up that. Pettigrain, grapefruit, and yuzu. So you get one, two, three, four. You get four different um, citrus forward scents, citrus notes. Uh, you get the yuzu, the, the lime, the lemon, not lime, <laughs> you get the grapefruit and the orange. So I definitely get the lemon and the orange. I don't get a ton of yuzu. It's kind of like mixed in, blended well. But uh, yeah, I I think the neroli is the most prominent alongside the citrusy notes. And then uh, the lavender kind of comes after, if that makes sense. Um, that's just, to me, my nose... But uh, it's very nice. Um, another Neroli forward scent that I can think of right now, or some, some Fougeres have them. Anyways, um, the uh, Fougere Mania, very Neroli forward. But I prefer this one because I like citrus. So, great scent. We're doing a cleanup pass right now. And I'm just having fun lathering this brush right now. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the Washington is very comfortable and it just looks absolutely beautiful. Got a little sparkle in there. I mean, I can understand why people are after luxury snots, they want that luxury feel, that cloud. But I've tried the B10 and I've tried this and they're complete opposites. Um, but I don't, I, like I said, I wouldn't find this scritchy. I find it scrubby, really, really scrubby, but not scritchy. Scritchy means it's like, for me, it means it's like hurting your face. Um, like a boar literally feels like it's scratching you. 
And then you, you're, when you're done lathering, your face is like red. <laughs> Anyways. Very smooth with the Astra. Gotta get that BBS. Yeah, I find that I really don't have to do any real buffing with this razor as much. I can't imagine the 1.25 gap. It might feel a little bit too aggressive for my liking, but this is just right. So I lucked out not having tried this before. For me, it's the perfect balance. And milk steak makes buffing a breeze anyways. Uh, it's one of the top bases, easily still, in the year 2020. About a year, I think, after it came out. Has it been a year? Something like that. Cool. We are DBS. for good measure. Awesome. All right, so uh, that goes for the shave. I'll meet you guys back in the post shave. All right, guys, we're back for the post shave. Um, excellent shave. BBS, zero irritation. As usual, the milk steak makes uh, all the, really makes the, the shaving experience really easy for me. Um, I know a lot of people like to pin it on technique, uh, which is obviously the most important thing, but Milk Steak, I feel, is one of those soaps that makes buffing real easy for me. I don't have to constantly keep reapplying the lather. Um, great job. Wolfman WR2, um, we use the brush, the Washington B3 Nebula, new addition to the den. Absolutely loving this thing. Uh, as you can see, that's the knot after it's being rinsed and washed. I do find that it has better backbone than the B5. So you can see that this kind of pushes out more. Yeah. yeah. If you guys can see that. And this obviously has zero jelliness, absolutely zero, really jelly. I just like comparing these because they're similar in size to me even though that's 24 millimeter. But yeah, for the splash, we're going with the matching 88 Chestnut Street splash. Oh, obviously we used the soap. We used that for the thumbnail, <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, so let's go, let's get to that. All right, let's apply this. One, two, three. All right, cool, that's good stuff. Yeah, so on the splash, I get way more citrus than I do. I get the yuzu. Yeah, I'm getting the yuzu now. The grapefruit, both of them. Oh, yeah. A little bit of lemon. Not as much orange as I did in the soap. Kind of interesting. But yeah, great still. Good protection. And uh, to assure the scent stays because I like it that much. I got the matching Eau de Cologne, very good stuff. And he gives it to you in a 100 milliliter bottle. I imagine because it's not an EDT, I think EDTs are stronger. So it kind of makes sense, but yeah, you do get this. Yeah, mainly citrus and rolly forward on all three. But yeah, it's good stuff, guys. Um, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it was a great shave. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.